Good evening, I'm Laura Holm with GBC News Friday Recap. Well, it's any parent's worst nightmare. Your child goes out to play and doesn't come home. But last night, an overwhelming sigh of relief from police, neighbors, and the parents of six-year-old Denia Mason. She made it back to her mother's arms. The first grader's parents called 911 around 5.30 yesterday, saying Anaya went out to play after school and hadn't returned. From the start of the search, police did not suspect foul play, but the first couple hours a child goes missing are pivotal. So police responded using reverse 911, a helicopter, the canine unit, and every available officer. Do you think she was just simply scared? I think at some point uh, she was outside playing and as darkness fell, I think she may have become a little disoriented, a little afraid and may have been hiding from people. Swarming the streets, neighbors working alongside police truly helped in bringing the six-year-old home. It was an amazing turnout in the neighborhood. I don't think there was anybody left at home inside the residence. Everybody was outside with flashlights and going door to door looking for this girl. From the front steps to the rooftop, little remains of the home on Trotters View Way in Snellville. Investigators now ruling it an act of arson. Flames were raging from the home mid-morning Wednesday. Flames so intense, firefighters had to battle the blaze from outside. Thankfully, no one was home at the time, but investigators say the fire started in the front of the home. Neighbors are rallying, donating money, clothes, and toys. Friend and neighbor, Sue Earl, says it's a sin to see memories ripped from such a nice family. Whatever she needs because, you know, she's completely out of, you know, I mean, I, I just couldn't imagine. I don't know how I would feel if I come home and, you know, you're lost for words. It's been a busy but historic week for Georgia Gwinnett College. Over 5,000 students sit in class. In the fall of 09, 3,200 students were enrolled. This fall, an increase of 75%. Growing by leaps and bounds, a new residence hall can house up to 1,000 GGC students. Currently, plans are in the works for additional parking dorms and more. From everyone at GBC News, have a great day.